When we discuss coins on this channel, they win. In fact, we're winning so much that I'm even getting messages from other YouTubers asking me where the heck I'm getting my information from. We picked some huge DeFi winners like Kava and Request Network. We've also picked some super low cap gems like Seek VR and Nimic, which isn't even really a low capper anymore. But when it comes to monthly winners specifically, no one is picking them better. Today, I'm going to let you into the secret sauce, and it's yummy. Let's get it. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the hardest working channel in crypto. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and join both my Telegram groups to learn more about crypto or connect with me in the Bit Squad. All right, guys, today we're going to be doing a full walkthrough of token metrics. If you've been on the fence about getting in on this token research site, then after this video, you are going to understand its value. People who use it win, period. I've been winning big ever since I started using it. I was skeptical at first about whether or not it would actually be better than free resources, but I found the value it provides to be insane. I picked 12 out of 15 winners in USD value and Bitcoin value over the last three months. If you were to go back and look at some of my previous month's picks, she has about 50-50. But this site has allowed me to take it to the next level. But here's the thing. Machines are smart. Humans are not. We tend to focus too much on fundamental analysis and personal opinion and biases. I'm not objective. I can never be 100%. There are projects I like and projects I don't. But when it comes to machine learning AI, they're completely impartial. And this is the model Token Metrics works off of. Now, if at any point in this video you decide you'd like to try Token Metrics, you can get a 14 day free trial by heading over to tm.bitboy.live. Before we check out the site and do a full tutorial, though, on the best way to use it, we have to tackle the question so many people have Is it better than free resources? And here's my opinion on this. I like paying for stuff. You see, time is money, period. There's a reason that it is a cliche. Do you want to learn technical analysis? All of the information you need to know about TA is available on the internet for free. One guy's opinion or strategy is not unique. They're a dime a dozen. You can find all of the info for free on YouTube. However, it's going to take you a long time to compile the perfect set of information to get you from a beginner to a moderate level. Some people will revel in that. They like the thrill of the chase for knowledge. Me, I would much rather spend two or $300 on a course that puts five hours of content together about TA in a methodical way where I'm able to learn in steps and see progression. You see, half the battle when searching for free info is finding the right info in the right order. And to me, it's a far better use of my time to just pay the money and get the info, especially when the information I'm getting should make me money. I'm not learning about geography. I'm learning things that will increase my financial value. And this is the same with token research. There are hundreds of free token research sites out there. We discuss CoinMarketCap a lot. It's the most popular research site. You can get all the raw numbers from any coin there. Sites like CoinPaprika have different tools than CMC. And then you have Coin360, CoinGecko, CryptoDefer, and many, many more. But most research sites don't help you with predictive analysis. They track history. And that's where token metrics comes in. I do not promote token metrics because it's going to wreck my followers while I make money. I promote it because it works. You've seen that on this channel for the last three months. So if you do decide to take the plunge, here's my walkthrough on how to use token metrics. Okay, guys, so here I am on token metrics. It's got some market cap numbers up here at the top, as you guys can see. But what you guys really want to go to is data and i mostly focus on the ratings the ieos i mean that's really hit or miss if you guys want to check that out but i'm working strictly off the ratings when i'm making my pick so the biggest thing to notice is that there are two different settings okay for everything we're about to look at there are two different settings and it's all about right up here so right now we're on value investor so this would be for a longer period of time However, if we click off this and go to Trader, you'll see that it has more short-term benefits. And I've told you guys for a long time, uh, at least over the last couple of weeks, I've been mentioning, I don't have that many long-term holds in my portfolio. And by long-term, I mean that I expect to hold after this next bull run cycle. Some of those that now I do not consider to be long-term hodls, they might move there. But right now, pretty much, when it comes to long-term hodls, like more than one year from now, 
I'm only looking at Bitcoin, Ethereum, maybe CRO, uh, Chainlink, and then hopefully something like Nimic might get in that list. But right now they got more to prove even as well as they've been doing. Uh, Velus is another one I've got my eye on, obviously. Uh, but right now, I think there's only about four projects I would say are long-term hodls, and really only three for absolute sure. So I want to stay on the trader side of things uh, when it comes to what I'm looking at. So what it's going to do is on this left-hand side, it's going to give you the token metrics rank, and then it's going to give you the market cap rank. So check this out. Right here, you've got the token metrics rank of Cosmos at number one, yet it's number 22. Right now, they're ranking Cosmos above Bitcoin in the short term. They have it as very bullish. So let's look at some of these uh, you know, numbers here. You have a grade, and if you want to find out what the grade is, you can click here. Uh, it's the grade based on machine learning and AI. Everything on the site is machine learning and artificial intelligence. That keeps us dummy humans out of it. So each project is going to get a fundamental score, a technology score, a monthly TA trend, a price, a 24 price, uh, 24 hour price change, market cap, and 24 hour volume. Now these are just you know statistics on this side. These right here, the grade, their rank, the fundamentals, technology, and monthly TA trend. That is where they are using their models to give you predictive information. So let's check out and see what it is they like about Cosmos. So you can click on Cosmos here, okay? And it is going to load up a lot of different stuff here. Uh, you have the summary, the fundamentals, the technology, the technical analysis, the performance metrics, price predictions, and correlations. I really like the price predictions. This is my favorite feature of this. So I'm going to briefly look at some of the, you know, the other things here. We have the summary has a lot of the raw numbers over here. This gives, this tells you, you know, what goes into one of these grades. So you guys can read about that. Uh, and once again, it's all based on machine learning and AI gives you a little, uh, fundamental analysis, uh, a little technology summary description of the project and that's all good and great but the thing is, is is you don't actually know the ins and outs of what numbers are getting plugged into the ai so there's not really that much you can tell here you can just go by what they say say oh it's 83 point you know 83 percent good okay i'll go with that you can come over here to the fundamentals it'll talk to you about what exactly is going on with the project it talks about for cosmos the tendermint protocol team talks about what's going on with the blockchain Gives you the team name. Well, I didn't know W1 was involved in that. How about that? See, I even just learned something just now. Uh, gives you their related links. Gives you uh, scoring on different aspects. Okay. Uh, scarcity. This would be for something like, uh, you know, a uh, staking project, for instance. Okay. Market standing, development, liquidity, which is very important. Over here, it's got some initial screening questions. This is how it comes up with the grades over here. So you can dig into all that stuff. All the research is done for you. You don't have to dig around the internet for this stuff. So that's fundamentals. Come over here to the technology, okay? You'll be able to see all these different scores that it ranks. And then you come over here and you see how it got those rankings. Uh, you know, how many lines of code do they have? Is the main net out? Is there gonna be a main net? What's going on with the team? More things that you can understand. Then you have the technical analysis side of it. This is going to be a cheat sheet to help you understand whether this thing is going bullish or bearish. It gives you all the different indicators. And here's the thing. On YouTube all the time, you see someone taking one indicator and saying, oh, now this project's bullish. But you see, every project is going to have a mix of bullish, neutral, and bearish indicators. And when it comes to token metrics, they're going to give you all that right there. So you can really zoom out. If you see uh, you know, a YouTuber saying, Bitcoin's definitely going to moon based on this one indicator. Well, you can go to token metrics and you can look and say, well, wow, they said this is bullish, but every other thing is neutral or, or bearish. So you can find out if YouTubers or technical analysis uh, folks are really maybe leaning too hard on one aspect or another. Okay, then you got your performance metrics. Okay, uh, this is going to have things about the market drawdown, about the cumulative returns, expected daily returns. It's got a lot of charts you can look at here. All of this stuff on one page. It's really unbelievable the information that you're able to get. This shows the returns against Bitcoin in a chart. Uh, as you can see, at certain points, it was almost bringing as much as Bitcoin, but not now. So could he be getting ready to shoot back up here? Uh, then we'll come over here and check out correlation. Uh, every project does not have a correlation, 
uh, done yet, but Cosmos, it does here. It explains what it is. It's a statistic that measures the degree to which two cryptocurrencies move in relationship to each other. Uh, and it's got this done for a lot of different projects. Here's Request Network. Uh, you know, here's Troy. Some that I recognize here. Band Protocol. It's getting very popular. Uh, LTO Network. Sonom. And yada, yada, yada. But this is what I love. I love the price predictions. Why do I love them so much? Because they are extremely accurate. Okay. Look at this. Look at the actual price and the projected price. Okay. Even though, as you can see, they're off a little bit. Look at the movement. E even though it's off here in the middle in the last couple of months or in the last full month, it was off a little bit. It has the movement as you see it go up, 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 sideways, down, 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 up, up, up. It predicted this up. Uh, the up, the the increase, price increase was supposed to come maybe a few days later. It came about a week earlier. But the movement is so in sync, it's insane. When you come up here and you look at these accuracy numbers, 77% accurate, so about 78% accurate for June 1st through June 30th. That is very low from what I've seen. Most of the price predictions that I've seen on Token Metrics are about 90% accurate. Guys, you're not going to see this anywhere. Look, it only had two months where it was less than 75% accurate on the price predictions. So basically what you can take that to mean is when it gives you price predictions, you can trust in the range that it's giving you. It might go a little above, a little below, but pretty much the range is going to be accurate. So sometimes what you'll find, if you look here, it is showing that in the middle of July, Cosmos is going to even out and then it's going to start falling. Well, it's it peaked maybe a little bit early, so that tells you there's actually a chance, even though it predicts this to be bullish, that the price of Cosmos could go down. That's why it's important that you don't just look at the initial rankings when it comes to token metrics, but you dig into each project. So what I generally like to do is go down, find projects that have a high ranking uh, on coin market cap, but are ranked, uh, I maybe said that backwards, have a very high ranking on coin market cap, uh, but a very low ranking on token metrics. Uh, so basically, attention token is 33 on coin market cap, but it's ranking as the number four bullish project. That would be one that I would want to look at. Matic, Pax Gold, Hollow Chain, Maker, which was one of my picks for the month. You guys can see that these are big spreads here in between where token metrics has them and the market cap rank. That means there's a lot of potential if these coins break out to be able to make massive gains and that is how i use token metric exactly in order to make my pick so if you guys want to sign up for token metrics uh make sure you guys do that uh, i have had so much success with this site and if you've noticed what's happening on my channel is i've started killing it with picks all across the board and token metrics is really the thing genuinely this is me being honest with you the thing that jump-started that growth and really took my understanding of fundamentals, of technical analysis, uh, and really everything in between, and took it to the next level. So I highly suggest you guys checking this out. Now, I hope you found that tutorial very helpful. And don't forget to use tm.bitboy.live in order to get a 14-day free trial. There's absolutely nothing to lose and gains to gain. <laughs> but now it's your turn. If you use token metrics, if you have, then please make sure to drop a comment down below. If you're on the fence about it, though, drop some of your concerns as well. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe to become a member of the Bit Squad. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. BitBoy out.